Well, welcome back. It's 228-2021 on a Sunday. Things are starting to get back to normal. Good way to date the video, Steve, right? Welcome to the channel again this week. Appreciate you being here. Grateful that you are here and help me grow this channel to get the kind of word out. Look, there's a lot of channels out there, a lot of places you can go to learn how to sell mortgage station and final expense and life insurance. And I do have some of those videos on this channel. You go find them and see if they'll uh, if they make a difference to you or, or maybe teach you something. But really, I think again, I've talked about it before that six inches between our two ears really control our mindset and our expectations about how we approach this business, how we approach life, how we approach this industry. We all see it differently. I think this, if this isn't straight, I don't care what kind of industry you're in, uh, you're not going to make it. So while we are focusing on you and I, those of you who are looking at this industry, the mortgage session, final expense, financial services industry, that's the topic, that's the niche that we, we spend our time in, that's the vehicle that you and I chose to advance our careers, to build our, our uh, lifestyle on, to provide a work-life balance. That's why we're here, right? So that's, that's what this channel is all about. I think there's, it, at times we have to challenge ourselves challenge our thinking, making sure that we're not falling into a comfort zone, making sure that we revisit the reason why we signed up in the first place, the reason why we went and got our insurance license in the first place, the reason why we get in the car and go visit with people in the first place. Sometimes we lose the, I know for me that happens. I, I consider myself one of the one of the most passionate people uh, around for this industry, for what it provides you and I without question. But even then we kind of fall into this rut right? We fall into our comfort zone. We get used to the amount of money that we're making. We start looking at this opportunity for what it will make us personally an in income, not what we, can, what we do for others. So I thought I'd take uh, my time today uh, really to um, challenge all of us on what we have before us with the opportunity, what we have in our hands right now, and why we and kind of revisit. If you're just, if, if you are in the industry yet and you don't have your license, Great, this would be fantastic for you. So try to get past the YouTube five o'clock or, or, or the five minute mark where the majority of you hang up. This might go for 15, but I promise you, if you stay to the end, it will be worth it. Okay, so if you pay attention, maybe uh, I can help you change your life. Not for anything I've done, but, but sharing with you some things that the, the things that we face. Uh, in the world today to try to be successful, to try to get that work-life balance, to try to have a life around the job, right? So I want you know, I'm going to talk about why we do what we do and why we chose the life insurance industry to do to you know, to provide the things that we dream of when we decided we wanted to get more of this life than what the job, the job, would give us. You know, why am I so passionate? Why I believe time is running out? For you and I to plant our stake in the ground in this industry, right? Right now, when it's, this industry is experiencing critical mass. You should have a sense of urgency to take full advantage of what has been given us with this opportunity. What is, you know, what is critical mass? It's when public awareness meets opportunity. Well, I think we're there. <laughs> Can you say that's now? Really? Take a look at the last year, right? When life insurance was the number one searched term on Google, Google last year, not sure what the other word was, but Google, I think we can both agree the timing could not be better. You see, I, again, I've been around this industry for over 30 years, right? I allowed myself to get distracted starting other businesses, you know, with the income that I had coming in because I, at heart, I'm an entrepreneur. I never really want, saw my future in a job. So I'm always looking for opportunities you know, to start businesses. And the life insurance industry is a business. Well, at least it is for those, those of us who are independent. I started out working for New York Life where I was captive and uh, sold myself for, a, for not a salary, but a draw against commission, right? That didn't last long, right? But, you know, during that time I was starting other businesses, I took my eyes off of what this industry really gives us. And I always came back to the life insurance industry. Why? Simple, high commissions, residual income, and passive income, right? You're building something every time you put your name on an application and go protect a family. You're building an income so that not 100% of your income is coming from your efforts to get out of bed and go sell a policy today, right now. That's why I stayed in it. 
I tell my agents that all the time. I got into it because of what it provided us, high commissions, residual income, and passive income, but I stayed in it because I knew that every time I went out and protected the family, I was doing something good. It's the best feel-good opportunity on the planet, but I was also making a deposit in my residual income bank. Right? There's a learning lesson there for all of us. Be willing to be bad before you're good. Be willing to fail, but never allow quitting to be an option. Had I stayed in it and been consistent, I'd have been much further ahead. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying that let's revisit why we do what we do so that we don't get distracted by the shiny objects that this world tends to want to you know, put in front of our face. So let me share with you what we're up against, you and I, today in this country, and why the life insurance industry is really, in my opinion, the only way to reach our financial success, right? Of personal freedom and liberty. Why do I say it's the only way? Because for nothing more than the cost of an insurance license, you and I have the opportunity to participate in a $7 trillion industry for less than 200 bucks. Right? You can go anywhere else, start a franchise, Subway, McDonald's, all those things. Spend hundreds of thousands of dollars and buy yourself a job. But you had the same or better opportunity right here. Do you realize that 70 cents out of every dollar spent, and I'm, so don't go to sleep on me, 70 cents, this, this is mind-blowing, 70 cents out of every dollar spent in the United States flows to an insurance company? Why would you and I not want to be part of that? Well, we can. Again, for the cost of insurance license, that's it. And some dedication and focus. So let's see what we're up against and why we're in the right place. Here are some scary facts. Out of 100 people that start working when they're age 25, okay? 100 people that start working at age 25, when they turn 65, 1% are wealthy, which means they have a... $5.7 $5.7 million net worth. Okay, what are your chances? I don't know how old you are. I'm guessing you're ranging from 20 years old to 60, 65, 70 years old. What are your chances to be part of that 1% and have $5.7 million net worth? 4% have added adequate income for retirement, meaning they have enough capital to take care of themselves and their families. 3% are still working. folks, 63% are still dependent on Social Security, government, friends, family, relatives, and everyone else for their existence. Guess what the other 29% are? Dead. Now let's take a look at those statistics. That's doing it the American way, right? My mom told me until she passed away a few years ago, Steve, (laughs) I really wish you'd get a good job with benefits. You know, they're hiring in the laundry. She worked at the hospital. She says, they're hiring in the laundry at the hospital, and I can put a good word in for you. <laughs> right? That was the end of That's the world that she lived in, the world, the ways that she was raised. Have the corporate job, the corporate entity take care of you. They're always going to take care of you. They're going to treat you right. They're going to be loyal to you. Well, that's crap, okay? I'm just telling you. By doing it the American way, meaning going to school, doing the best you can, going to college so you can get out into the world, being a doctor or a lawyer, whatever floats your boat, the bottom line is, right, out of all these people, team, that started to work at age 25 and worked a 50-50-50-50 plan, you know what that means, right? I've talked about it before on this channel. Here's what it means. 50 hours per week. 50 weeks per year for 50 years to retire on 50% of what you live on today. That is the time for money treadmill. Trading hours for paychecks. Building their lifestyle because you gave up yours. Right? At age 65, only 5, 5% have enough to retire. So unfortunately, many of us operate from a position of fear, right? I find this to be true in my case sometimes. And I find this to be true with a lot of people I talk to, my agents that are on our team as well, people that call me from YouTube. You know, we're worried about this, we're worried about that. I believe most of us are afraid to fail. Embrace it. 
I remind myself that all the time. I reminded myself that of yesterday. Embrace it. When you're failing, you're learning. Failing does not mean you are not meant to be here. Think about it. For those of you who watch this video today who are parents, when our children are learning to walk, when they fall down over and over again, do we pick them up and chastise them and tell them, hey, never try walking again. You are not made for walking. No, of course not. That'd be silly, right? They learn to walk by failing. I found by working with thousands of people over the years that many of us put a cap on our own abilities. I believe that God gave each and every one of us the ability to be and do all we can be and do. I think much of that fear is generational. I believe we sell ourselves short based on what others tell us we can be and we, we can be, do. And we listen, even if unintentionally. We buy into excuses like, my mother never had anything, my father never had anything, so I'm doomed to never have anything or to accomplish any of the dreams that I had when I was a child because it's just not in the cards for our family. <laughs> Total crap. Success for, uh, is for others. It's not for me. Total crap. And I believe that's a lie. I used to have those same feelings that my mentor told me years ago. It's probably been, I don't know, 15, 16 years. He just passed away a month ago. He said, Steve, you should stop buying what they're selling. You should stop buying what they are selling you, folks. If you're on this channel, you want to be somebody. You want to make something in this life. In my opinion, you only got one life to live. You might as well live it. Well, you ain't living it working nine to five at some job building somebody else's dreams. He lives in a big house. He can take his kids on, on incredible vacations. His wife on a honeymoon. His wife on anniversary trips. He can do those things because you're a man in the fort. You should stop listening to yourself and start talking to yourself. Stop telling yourself that because my family had nothing, I can't have anything. That this opportunity is not for me, it's for somebody else. Stop living your life vicariously through somebody else's as well. We cheer and holler and scream at the NFL games. We cheer and holler and scream at the NBA games. You know, golf, I watch golf all the time too. Be careful not to put yourself in their position. You ain't getting the money. Okay? Stop listening to yourself and start talking to yourself and telling yourself how it's going to be. Tell yourself, look, I know my father didn't have anything. I know my mother didn't have anything. So what? I am in control. I control the activities that get the results I'm looking for. I will change that in my life. That's how I grew up. My dad was relatively poor. Right? We never had any clothes, new clothes. We got all the hand-me-downs for the kids in the church. I was determined to change that, to break that cycle in our, in our family legacy, to be the one that broke out of that. And I had to keep telling myself, Steve, if it's going to be, it's up to me. You are the one that was put on this earth to break that cycle of poverty in your family legacy. Rather than buy into it, I was determined to change it. Listen, life is only going to give you what you and I are willing to accept. That's completely in our control. If you're going to be afraid of anything, be afraid of the statistics I just shared with you. Right? That shit's going to hell out of all of us. Right? I'd rather take my chance on my own abilities to stay focused for two or three years in something that I can control that has proven, time-tested and proven success. It's the oldest industry on the planet. Many of our... Many over our lifetimes fail over and over again trying to succeed. And you have to ask yourself, what do you got to lose? If you never step out of your comfort zone and go for your dreams, you have everything to lose. Ending up living a life of mediocrity and being in that 63% or worse. These stats tell us what you and I, we are up against. We got a 63% chance of reaching retirement again. Busted. And having to rely on your friends and the government to live out your life. Now, I know you know people like that right now in your life that are 65 years old or, or older and got nothing. 
You spend your entire life exchanging wages for dollars, selling your time for a wage, only to end up retiring and praying, praying that you die before your 401k retirement income runs out so you're not a burden on others. You all know what I'm talking about. Maybe you even know someone in this situation. No disrespect to those of you who have jobs, because I've had them in my life. Just long enough to get out. Just not long enough to put food on the table until I had to turn the corner and had some success at what I was doing in life insurance. But I don't want to work my entire life to end up a greeter at Walmart because I needed to supplement my 401k retirement income for fear for fear that I'm going to be too old to work and be busted and have to move in with my kids and have them support me. It does not have to be that way. It is completely in our control. But here's the good news. You and I, we don't have to end up this way. We are blessed when we found this opportunity. Again, $7 trillion industry provides us with the ability to earn high commissions today. Residual income and passive income where their product everyone needs and no one is excluded. The world has conspired to do you and I good, right? We've got this COVID, this pandemic thing that has put what we do on the front page and we're able to create generational wealth. We've been given another option, right? And all we have to do is show up every day, right? Never letting our head, our head hit the pillow, until we share with someone that what we have, they need, and what we have matters to the ones they leave behind. Share with them the power of living benefits, money if you live and money if you die, so that a medical emergency doesn't wipe you out, right? You live and still lose everything not being able to work, and you have no money because you didn't die. That is a tragedy, and yet people are living that way. We've all been blessed to be able to make this choice every day we wake up in the morning. You made it today by watching this video. I believe there are two doors. Hang with me here for a second because this is the clincher. I believe there are two doors that we as adults are presented with. One is marked freedom and one is marked security. Security means that nine to five that you're going to go to, trading your hours for a wage, and every two weeks they're going to hand us a paycheck, right? And here's the deal. When you choose that security door, I understand, believe me, they paint that door really pretty. Some of you right now have been kicked to the curb, you've lost your job, you lost your business, and what are you doing? You're looking for another job. So another three to four or five years, it's, it's going to do the exact same thing to you again. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. The results will be the same. Guaranteed. Right? They paint that door real pretty. They didn't put a wreath on it. They dressed it all up to make it very attractive. But here's the deal. It's the biggest scam in America. You choose that door, you actually lose both. You lose your freedom and your security because someone else is controlling the shots for you. The one thing I learned from my dad was I was not willing to take that path. I was willing to do whatever it took for as long as it took, no matter what. I did not have a deadline as to when I would quit right? And take defeat as an excuse to choose that security door. But after my dad passed away with zero life insurance, I discovered that what we do matters first and foremost. But I also discovered this thing called residual income and passive income, which meant every time I sold a policy that paid residuals, I was making a deposit in my residual income bank. And every time I shared this opportunity with somebody, I was building a passive income stream as well. Where else can you do that? for the price of an insurance license, which we help you with, right? Because here's what I knew. If 100% of my income is coming from my ability to get up every day, go sell some insurance, you're fixing to get killed, wiped out financially, right? On my team right now, we're talking about, right, you know, a lot about 212. And I'll put a description of this in, 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 the, uh, in the, uh, the link to that book in the description. If you don't have that book, I highly recommend you invest in yourself. Go spend the 10 bucks. Read it and allow it to change your life. The link is in the description.
Get it on Amazon, you'll have it in a couple of days. Invest in yourself, invest in this. So what does 212 degrees mean to us? Simple, every day we wake up, we have an obligation to not go to bed without talking to someone about our product and sharing how they can protect their loved ones today for when they are gone. It's just as important, in my opinion, to, pro to provide for them while you're living as it is when you're gone. And they can make a decision, that, a decision for less than 100 bucks a month to make sure that their family's homestead, the home that they're raised in, right, remains intact. But more than that, their dreams don't change because you're no longer here. They can still go to college. Make the commitment, not to me, to yourself. Get your life insurance license if you don't have one. If you've got one, dust it off. Let's go to work. Right? If you don't have a license, like I said, text me, email me, give me a call, I'll help you with it. Because we need you in this industry. Right? The investment's next to nothing. The biggest investment is going to come in yourself, the commitment level. But make the decision. Back it up with commitment. Like you have never committed to anything before, that you'll move your business forward every day you wake up from this day forward. Right? How do you do this? Simple. For those of you who balk at having to buy leads, well, that's a different conversation entirely. Great. Don't buy leads. No requirement to buy leads. You don't have to buy leads. No one can tell you how to run your business. There's no need to if you want to work this business spare time or part time. Go talk to your clients. Go through your cell phone. Go through your address book. Strike up a conversation with everyone you see that has a family. Ask the father, if you don't come home tomorrow, will they be able to keep the house? Will their dreams still come true when you're not around? The dreams of a college education, a great marriage, right? A wonderful wedding. That's what 212 degrees means to me. Wake up intentional every day and don't squander the opportunity that we've been given. I hope that helps today because really, I mean, that's where my passion comes from. We need you in this business. More importantly, we need to get the message out. Make 2021. I just saw 212 in, this, 212 in the book there. 2021, 212, right? This is the year. This is the year you can change so many lives with our product, but while doing so, you can make a living while making a difference. Appreciate you guys. Look, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button below. Mash that bell. I haven't talked about that in a while. Leave me a comment. My content information is in the description. I'll leave a link to this book also. You can get it on Amazon. Invest in yourself. Have a great day. We'll see you next week in the next video. Bye-bye.